love this puppy. Alrighty, it is a new day and a new video. So we are at Bears Den Hostel right now, getting ready to go. It's about 9.15 this morning, so we're getting a really late start, but it's raining and none of us feel like hiking. We are jumping back on the trail in the middle of the roller coaster today, so we have a few more little hills to go up and down. Evan's daughter has met us, Lydia, so she's gonna be hiking with us for the next couple of days. So we're taking the mileage down a notch and I think we're all happy about that. It's been raining for days and we're all freaking over it. So, here we go. All right, you can't see the rain on camera, but we're heading out and putting my phone away. West Virginia, that's all I know. All right, we made it to West Virginia. Finally out of the state of Virginia, which took fucking forever. That is the most miles of any state is in Virginia. So we're done. And I think we only have like five miles in West Virginia. Brown barrel. Holy shit, a view today. Sorta. Yeah, way better under here. Okay, first of all, we're having lunch and Evan set up his tarp, so all four of us are crammed under the tarp taking shelter, but we're not getting rained on. No, we're very comfortable. We're very comfortable. Very comfortable. <laughs> Second of all, my fruit snacks. Thanks, fruit snacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he's actually tying his tarp to my tarp. We're gonna be here for a while. Uh oh. I know he's gonna have a face. <laughs> All right, so we get some more lunch action. If you can hear me, TBD has joined us and he's tying his tarp. So we're just gonna make a big fucking house on top of this mountain and hide out. All right, so we've made it to the David Lesser Memorial Shelter and set up camp for the night. So this is our campsite. Shelter is kind of way up, so you can't really see it. We did about 11 miles today. It was raining a little bit um, when we started, so we really were just taking it slow and paying attention to our steps. So I was trying to, my goals were to keep my socks and shoes as dry as possible, so not stepping in puddles. And then stepping on all the rocks when they're slippery, I was really paying attention to every step. So we took it slow and it was definitely better on your body, but it's hard to do big miles when you're doing that. When you do big miles, you're just going and stepping in puddles and misstepping all the time. So anyways, it did feel like it made a big difference. But then as you saw for lunch, it started downpouring. So we sped it up the second half of the day. But 11 miles feels pretty good. It's not raining at the moment, but it's supposed to continue downpouring the rest of the night pretty much and all day tomorrow. So we're gonna hunker down in our tents, enjoy the night, eat some dinner, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, good morning. I am getting ready to head out of the shelter and start hiking. Only doing about nine miles today, but it's exciting because we are heading into Harper's Ferry today, which is like the unofficial halfway point for the Appalachian Trail. The halfway is actually a little bit past it, but in Harper's Ferry, they have the ATC headquarters or something where they take your picture that you made a halfway and give you a new number for the number of through hiker that has passed through there. So I'll be staying over there tonight and I'm excited to get into town and get dry. <laughs> uh, I'm stuck.
Okay. Well, you. Actually, hey, you need a handstand one. Can you do a handstand? Good. left the ATC headquarters in Harper's Ferry so it was super exciting to get there it's not exactly halfway but it's pretty close so they call it the unofficial halfway point so I got my picture taken and put into the book I'm number 997 which is exciting because when I started at Amicalola I was number 1833 and we had an ice cream and we left so now we have to actually get back on the trail for another half a mile to get into the actual town of Harper's Ferry so we'll see you there all right I'm in the towns Inn in Harper's Ferry right now our room is a freaking mess we just have shit everywhere from you know, trying to do laundry and all the bullshit and the resupply stuff and trying to dry everything out. So it's kind of a nightmare. But we had a great day. It was so awesome getting into Harper's Ferry and feeling like I'm kind of sort of at the halfway point. Just had a great dinner across the street at some pub tonight. Our friend Oscar met us, so that was fun. Um, it's about 8.30 now, but I still got to reorganize all of my stuff. So I will see you on the trail tomorrow. All right, we are heading back on the trail this morning, leaving Harper's Ferry. We are getting a very late start. We had an awesome breakfast at Battlegrounds Cafe, which is kind of funny because we have a Battlegrounds coffee shop um, back at home in Haverhill, Mass. So shout out to Dana and her husband. Anyways, breakfast was awesome. The weather is nice at the moment. All our shit is dry at the moment. So we hope it stays that way. We're still trying to figure it out because it's not very clear, but I think we've already crossed the border into Maryland. So um, West Virginia was quick and easy and on to the next state. Okay, this is the grossest water ever. And these turtles <laughs> look like chia pets. Like they haven't moved in freaking years. What the fuck? Detour. Okay, so we had a nice little detour earlier, and after that thousand foot climb, it's been a mostly flat day. Um, I'm not even sure how many miles we're doing, like 10 to 12, I think. So, easy day. I also wanted to mention, I got new trekking poles yesterday. So, the ones I had, I wasn't necessarily attached to, but they worked great and I didn't have an issue. But, I noticed yesterday when I got into town, the tip of it, like that bottom piece, fell off on one of them. So, I needed to get new ones. I went to the outfitter in town and this was the only pair they had. They are Comperdells. So I've never heard of that brand, but so far I do like them. They're a little bit lighter than the black diamond ones I had. The only thing that sucks is I had a stick pick, which is to mount my phone on the end of my trekking pole as like a little selfie stick, and it doesn't fit on these ones. There's different size stick picks. So that kind of blows, but whatever. I have working trekking poles, and I needed to get them ASAP because I used my trekking poles to set up my tent with, so I couldn't really wait on new ones. So anyways, that's the latest. See you later. Yeah. AC. AC sounds good to me. 
<laughs> this is the home of George Alfred Townsend, who was a newspaper man in the Civil War. <laughs> All right, I think we found our house for the night. Honey, can you get some firewood? I'm on it. <laughs> I'm gonna use my bot tonight to cook on the fire. This is dehydrated refried beans and taco seasoning and freeze dried corn. Should have been dried on before you burn that. Eight <laughs> fucking five hour energy drinks. I need a monster too, I think, or something. Just throw it right on top. 